Hey guys, I'm finally back. I know it doesn't seem like I had taken a break because usually I only post on YouTube once a month, but yes, I did take a break from crafting and running my shop for a whole month just to focus on working on this children's book that I've been working on. And I've just submitted all the final artwork, which is such a relief. I feel like there's such a huge accomplishment and I'm so happy. So I'm now back doing my shop again and crafting more and just getting the shop up and running once again. So I've just been really busy making things for the shop. Um, these are some new earrings that I made for tomorrow's shop drop. I have a shop drop tomorrow morning. Still need to do photos for that. I should be fine time-wise. I'll just get that done today. And I'm really loving these Kirby earrings I made for my shop. I've never made Kirby earrings before. So I'm sure some of you would be quite excited for these to be released tomorrow. These are also some highly requested designs. I actually have a huge batch of ceramics to release tomorrow morning. So I didn't make too many pairs of earrings. And also just wanted to show you what I bought throughout my month of just working on my book. I kind of had like an impulse buy moment because I was always stuck at home drawing from morning to night. Sometimes I just go online shopping and then go a little crazy and that's exactly what happened. So I have a little haul video for you today. Ta -da! So I've been looking for a calculator for a very long time now because usually I just use the one on my phone and when I'm packing orders it gets a bit annoying because there's like emails on my phone and I'm looking at my order list trying to issue refunds and at the same time getting DMs here and there and also needing to use a calculator my phone gets really hot and it gets really chaotic it's just nice to have like a separate calculator on the side so I don't do the math wrong and things don't get a bit crazy and messy but then I didn't want to buy a generic or boring calculator so I've been looking around for a cute one and found this one on Japan you want Japan you want is a shop based in Japan they ship worldwide from Japan the shipping prices are a little bit on the expensive side but I didn't mind that because they use DHL which is very very fast sometimes things only take like four to five days to get to Australia which is crazy so calculator not an impulse purchase this was planned but everything else that's coming after it were not planned I was not planning to get anything else um, but ended up getting like 10 things I'm just gonna unbox this now This is my, my Melody calculator. It's actually so much lighter than I expected it to be. I love how all the buttons are die cut to be heart shaped and the shape of her head, the bunny head. And I thought this was definitely a lot cuter than a lot of the generic calculators that you find in bookstores and office supply shops. I already hate math, so at least make the process cute. So I actually kind of enjoy it. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn it on. It's solar powered so you don't have to put batteries in. They're actually plastic buttons which makes them so nice to press and it sounds so good when being pressed. Very happy with this. This would look so cute on my desk and oh my god I have a shop drop tomorrow which means I can start using it straight up. Ah, so happy. Okay, I'm gonna show you other things that I bought now. The next thing I bought was this pen from Sanrio as well. The little twin stars, they are Kiki and Lala, they are twins. I actually have a lot of stationaries from Sanrio but nothing from the little twin stars. So I really wanted this when I saw it. Let me open it so I can show you the pen. This is a black ballpoint pen and you click the tip in and out like this. We'll definitely use this when I process orders tomorrow along with my calculator. Everything is so cute and pastel. I love it. The next thing I got was this stackable storage unit. I only got one though, but if you get multiple, you can definitely stack them up on top of each other. They come in many different colors and different characters. I chose the green one because green is my favorite color and I love frogs. And the great thing about this storage unit is it has this compartment on the front here where you can store a card or a photo or anything you want to display on the front and on the back here you can store little trinkets, accessories, anything you want just to use it as like a photo frame but also a storage unit and have it on my desk next to my laptop. I feel like that would be really cute. That's why I bought it.
The next thing I got was this Gucci Pachi figure from Bandai. This is actually a snack and figure box. So inside it, there's a little candy or like a chewing gum plus the figure. There are six different types to choose from. This was a Tamagotchi 25th anniversary Bandai product. And I chose Gucci Pachi because again, green is my favorite color and Gucci Pachi is my favorite. I've wanted this for a while and it has been out for a while. So I'm very happy to finally have it. I'm just gonna open it. I'm too tempted. I need to see what it's like. <laughs> this is the smoothest thing I've ever touched in my life. It's so cute. It's hollow on the inside and so plump and just so cute. Also, how sus does this lolly look? There's nothing on the packaging. It's just a white cube. Probably won't eat this. It doesn't look that good. The next thing I got is this Animal Crossing blind package. Each of these have a magnet in it and it's a random one that you get. I have no idea what's inside this one. I'm in need of a magnet because I have like two fridge magnets and a hundred things I need to stick on my fridge and I can't. So when I saw this on Japan you want, I was like, why not? I really hope I get a cute character. Blind packages and blind boxes are so exciting but can also be like so traumatizing. Oh my god, another sus lolly. So I still need to open this to review what magnet I got. And on the back here, there's like a little colored card and there's 10 different designs that you could possibly get. And I got this one. I don't know what I'd use it for though. I got Dom. I love Dom. Dom is so cute. The magnet is a lot thicker and way better quality than I expected it to be. I thought it'd be one of those really thin, bendable, like bendy magnets, if you know what I mean. But no, it's like an acrylic block. It's like a resin block. I love it. It's so cute. Okay, now that I revisit the packaging, I see that that card that came with the magnet. I guess you're supposed to write notes on it and then stick it to your fridge. So it's like, Matchy. Aww, how thoughtful. The next thing I got is this Maze Maze Puni Tapidan Bubble Tea Virtual Pet from Bandai. This was out in March 2021, so it's been a while now, over a year, and I've only just recently got my hands on it. I've read so many interesting reviews on this. It's such a cute concept. I appreciate that they put a lot of thought into the design of the shell and just the whole device. So the objective of this game is that you run a bubble tea shop and you have to work and play games to collect different kinds of bovas, tapioca pearls. The concept and design of this device is very interesting because even the straw part of the shell is kind of like a joystick and you can use it to maneuver your characters and to stir your bobas in your cup it's very very adorable you basically want to help her grow her bubble tea shop and to just collect different characters it's a very simple gameplay and this device comes in blue which is the one i got here and also pink i'm not going to do a walkthrough and go into details of how it works today but i'm just going to open it just to check that it's okay and also to show you what it looks like The device is actually quite big. It's almost like a kid sized handheld drink and the straw on top is super bendy. You can actually bend it. It's made of silicone, I believe. And you can stir your drink by moving the straw like this. Love that the button has a face on it. The screen is a lot bigger than most Virtue Pets that I have. I'm gonna quickly pop batteries in just to check if the screen and sound work.
just put batteries in and it's got a really nice weight to it now. It actually feels like a drink. It takes three AAA batteries to power this toy. So once you pop batteries in, it's a little confusing because the screen doesn't turn on by itself like most virtual pets would. You actually have to press the middle button and hold onto it for a bit to turn on. So you'll see Bandai and I'll... Oh. Okay. <laughs> it looks like she's heading to Earth. <laughs> it's adorable. I love how the screen is semi translucent so you can see all the way through to the back and see the straw stirring on the inside. I'm already running two Tamagotchis at the moment so I don't think I can handle a third and a whole bubble tea shop. No, I can't handle that. We'll definitely run this once I'm done running my current two Tamagotchis. The buttons feel really nice to press as well. And that's it. That's everything I got from Japan You Want. Really happy with this order. Everything came so quickly. I hope you like the stuff I got and definitely check their store out if you want to get stuff from Japan.
Just came back from my haircut, very happy with how short it is because it's so much easier to wash and to manage but she did, I mean my hairdresser did curl it a bit after the haircut which is not something I usually do and not something that I love in particular. Just really happy I took the day off to do this because I've just been way too busy and haven't had a haircut for six months and sometimes even if I have a half day free, to me like the thought process that I have in my head is oh I could use this time to make you know three more pots or like four more pairs of earrings why should i go sit at the hair salon and just do my hair you know it just never feels urgent enough i'm glad i did this today for myself and i feel recharged and ready to work more i also want to show you this new product that i'm about to release this weekend and it's this bucket hat it's my very very first bucket hat so i'm very excited it's embroidered all over and it's frog themed embroidery on the very top as well. This hat took many months to make because again it's my first time making a bucket hat so there are a lot of samples required, a lot of emails back and forth, just tweaking little details here and there. That's why it took so many months to produce but it's finally done and ready to be sold. This is another limited edition item so once it's sold out it won't come back and I'm just very happy with how it turned out. Here's a close-up of what it looks like. It's just Froggo and his chicken friend chilling in the rain together. On the back here is a happy mushroom and just a really happy Froggo on the very top. It doesn't really go with what I'm wearing right now, but this is what it looks like on. I really like it. You can also bring the rim up if you want for another look. Ah, uh, it's so cute! Oh, I think my new hair length goes really well with the bucket hat too. Anyway, that's it for my vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have a lot more to share next month because I'll be traveling for the first time in three years. I'm very excited and very scared for my life. We'll definitely have more artwork to share with you guys as well. Make sure you follow my Instagram for shop drop updates so you know when they're happening and what's coming soon. And I think that's it. Buy my hat because when it sells out, it will never come back.